guys, uh, welcome back to another tutorial from Brianco Games. Here we will be setting up a enemy respawner. It's actually quite simple to do. Let's get into it. All right. So first of all, what we are going to do is we're going to up, open up our third person game mode. So if I click on content, type in third person game mode. I want BP third person game mode. Um, open old blueprint editor. Right, so you're going to create a custom event. We'll call it enemies left. Basically, every time an enemy is dead, we want to respawn more enemies. Okay. I want to spawn more enemies. Whatever. All right. We'll also create a variable and we'll call it enemies alive. And that would be an integer because an integer is a round number. Let's go over here, change it to integer, press compile. And enemies alive is set to zero. Yeah. So grab enemies alive. So get it. We get an equal equal operator. And we'll create a condition using a branch. Like so. And then basically it's true. We'll call respawn. Oh, yeah. One second. We also need to uh create an event dispatcher. So yeah, we just call it respawn enemy. All right. And then all we got to do is call respawn enemy like so. Okay. So that's the first stage. All right. Press compile. And then what we'll do is we'll go into, so I already, obviously, you know, I've already set up animations. I've set up my enemy to roam around etc so this is a at the stage if you've done all that and you want to set up you know an enemy respawner obviously i'm not going to cover that in the whole video um but yeah so here's my enemy and in here i basically want to run a sequence so i have actually a random roam set up okay um of course i'll do a video on how to do that um if you're one of my students you'll be taught that as well um, but anyway, even if the random room's not here, um, and you have the player just chasing you, you run a sequence, because you can only get this node once in here, okay? And what, basically what we're doing is we're cast into our third-person game mode. And I want to get game mode. Like so. And I want to just increment this. So get an increment integer. Because remember, our enemies alive is an integer. So get enemies alive. And join it up like so. And there you go. So run a sequence. That's third person game mode. Get game mode. And then obviously get the variable for enemies alive and increment it. Okay. So basically we want to add more enemies every time that our, our enemy uh, enemies alive goes to zero. Okay. So I also have a death function in here, which you can find in the combat system setup. Okay. Which actually... Uh, Teaches you how to do that. Um, where is my death function? Do, do, do. I actually, well, I don't have a death function in this one, but pretty much this is a little bit of my death function here. I've set something up. All right. So if you have a death function after your enemy's dead, okay. Um, I'll move the destroy actor over here so from my delay of playing the death montage. Okay. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to cast on my game mode again. All right, so cast to well, cast to third person BP third person game mode. Object is get game mode, like so. And then from here, I want to get enemies alive. Enemies alive, and then I want to decrement it. Decrement integer. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Unreal had a mind of its own. Okay. Ain't that happen every now and then. And then I want to call enemies left. And I want to call that from my game mode. So get enemies left. I want the function. All right. So it'll play the function for us. Like so. Right, 
that's also set up. What you need to do as well is you need to go into, you got your enemies here. Um, you want to click on itself and you want to click on, oh, what is it again? Um, AI, let's click and I'll look for it. I can't remember. Placed in world spawn, where is it? But yeah, so you want to find your, you want to click on self and you want to find the auto possess AI. And instead of placed in world, you want it to be placed in world or spawned. Okay. So you click compile. And then our last step is where we're going to create a spawner. That's really easy to do. So just right click in the content browser, go to blueprint class, select an actor. I'll call it BP underscore spawner. I'll double click and open it up. I'll create a variable called spawned enemy. All right, we want that to be an integer. And I want the value to be, let's say we bring in two enemies. Sure, why not? Okay. And I'll compile that. I need to create another variable called add enemy. And make sure it's an integer. Give it the value of one. Doesn't really matter. Compile. Go to the event graph. Delete the event tick and over begin, or begin overlap. We don't need them. But from event begin play, we want to cast to our third person game mode. Make sure that now mine's BP underscore third person, so don't be mixing them up. Get game mode, like so. And then, so I want to bind event respawn enemy. Okay, so bind event to respawn enemy, like so. And then from my event, I want to create a custom event. Call it spawn enemy. Sorry if there's any spelling mistakes. I try to make these quick as possible. And I need a for loop. For loop. And then I want to get spawned enemy. And I want to make it my last index. And I want the first index to be the value of one. Like so. And then what I want to do. Is I want to come off loop body. And I want to spawn actor from class. So spawn actor from class. And I want the class to be my enemy. So whatever your enemy is, mine's test BP. Whatever yours is, you get it. And the spawn transform has to be the get actor transform. So get actor transform. So it can then be spawned in its location. Okay. And we're not done yet, but we nearly are. Hmm. So you want to get add enemy. And you want to get spawned enemy. And you want to get add enemy. All right. Here's a bit of math. Okay. So from here, if I'm completed, we want to get plus plus. So we want to increment, and it has to be an integer because that's what a variable is. All right. So we join that up. Um, we'll join off here and we'll get an add integer. So an operator for add, join these up like so. And then basically from here, you want to set spawned enemy. And you want to join this up here like so. And you want to set add enemy and keep it to zero. Cool. All right. So let's see. Um, solution handling override. Let's say try to adjust location, but always spawn. Or no, no, but always spawn. That way, try not to get caught in any walls or holes or whatever, etc. Okay. So I'll press compile. I'll now drop my spawner in as well. So I've got an enemy here. You, by the way, there needs to be an enemy in your scene first. So you can kill it and then the spawn will take place. Okay. So I press play. Here's my enemy. Boom. Boom. He's dead. Which he disappears. Now there's another two enemies spawning. One. Two. One. Two. Now there should be... Six, maybe one, two, three, no, four, and then it'll go up to you. <laughs> that was easy. And now there's six, five, so yeah, it's what's it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's going up one every time. All right, guys, listen, that's how you do the spawner. 
Okay. Wasn't that hard at all. Just make sure that you add the spawner in the scene and you have an enemy placed in the scene. Okay, still a bit buggy. But look at that. They just keep coming. All right. So yeah, that's how you do it. Please like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Um, really helps me. Um, you know, we, we've hit over the 500 milestone. We're trying to get to 1,000 here. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Good luck on your game dev journey. Please leave a comment in the comment section if needs be.